President Hakainde Hichirem has met the leadership of the Anglican Church in Central Africa. The clergyman went to State House to thank government for the many things it has done since being elected into office. CDF is a, is a game changer in the sense that um, development has been taken to the people and the people are making decisions. You now we are a church. We believe that life is sacred. It's only God who can take life from somebody. But you came in and you simply said, well, leave it to God, not us. I know people make mistakes, but life, leave it to God. We say thank you for that, for removing the death penalty. It would be good for us or if Nima One can treat every disease, people are very happy to contribute, to share with the state the cost of um, health. And President Hijrema asked the church to help government unite the nation and give advice where necessary. We have pronounced that we'll be paying retirees three months after they leave. So you should not, we should not see a queue. But we had to clear the backlog. But again, in case that we know somebody, uh, Archbishop and our leaders across the country, we are open to uh, the, that flow of information. I'm talking of those who retire under the UPND government. Our commitment is three months. They must get, they must get paid so that we clear the old um, queue. We don't create a new queue. Later. President Ichirema met Zimbabwean President Emerson Munangagwa's special envoy, Patrick Chinamasa. Mr. Chinamasa delivered a special message on the harmonized elections scheduled for August 23. Our expectation that uh, it will remain peaceful during the campaign. The campaign has already kicked off and that uh, they will remain peaceful during on the date and after. And uh, I also want to comment, Your Excellence, on what you've said. Our lives... Zimbabwe and Zambia are intertwined, uh, and including the life of our president. You know, he stayed here, he's got a family, he still has got a family. And President Hijirema wished peace to the people of Zimbabwe during the elections. Parties conduct themselves responsibly, all of the parties, on the election day to vote peacefully. And in the days after voting, telling of results. <laughs> it's an emotional time. I've been running for elections for quite some time. And um, the anxiety that comes with it, that uh, the people of Zimbabwe, our brothers and sisters, will remain calm and, uh, and um, ultimately respect the wishes of the voters. That's our wish as Zambia, as a sister country. On August 23, the people of Zimbabwe will be electing their president from the 11 candidates who successfully filed in their nominations. At parliamentary level, 599 candidates will be vying for the 210 parliamentary seats. Paul Sharara, ZNBC News in Lusaka.